Hi lovelies, Karibu sana to my YouTube channel. My name is Lenny Smina. Thank you so much for joining us if you're new here. If you're a returning viewer, Asante sana sana sana. And in today's video, you can see I have a couple of books. And I'm just going to share with you some of my favorite legal literature. And I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get into it. So as you know, you guys, I'm a lawyer and I like reading, but my reading has been suffering ever since I started Pupilage. But I just thought I would do this video to share some of my favorite legal literature books. And the first two I'm going to talk about, which I'm going to put like two covers over here and over here, are first of all, The Devil's Advocate and second of all, Sutton's Advice to Young Lawyers. I know the titles sound very crude and they try to paint the legal profession like it's something that it's not but those two books you just if you're going to get into the legal profession it's so important to read them first of all the devil's advocate is amazing especially for child advocacy because it comes up with the 10 commandments of cross-examination and you just need to read it because the author has gone at length to tell you how you can basically argue and as you know at this particular point Arguing is what you do for a living. You argue for, you argue against, you argue towards a consensus. You do all this just to make sure that your client can get the best possible outcome. So please make sure you get the devil's advocate, especially if you're in school, whether you're doing your bachelor's or at the Kenya School of Law, that book will be very helpful as you do your trial advocacy, which is offered at both levels. Basically, the title devil's advocate is to say that you are going to play the devil to win whatever case that you're winning but it's quite a nice book in how it analyzes the process of child advocacy also when it comes to certain advice for young lawyers guys when you join the profession you will realize that it is so easy for you to be burnt out because of the workload that you experience and i feel like i'm just talking about myself because work can get very crazy when you read certain advice to young lawyers you realize that it's not even about how many hours you put into your work it is how well you distinguish yourself in the profession how do you look how do you interact with clients how do you interact with co-workers are you going to pretend your co-workers are your friends you should remember the cardinal rule that your colleagues your co-workers are your co-workers and not your friends so that book is very good when it comes to understanding the relationships in the legal profession understanding how to maneuver how to look how to deal with people how to carry yourself it's a very short book that you can read in one sitting and I do recommend that you read it. Please make sure you get it. Please make sure you understand how to deal with people in this profession because it's a very tight-knit profession. So what happens with you is very easily going to become the talk of town if you don't do it right or if you do it right. And I'm sure by this time you have seen during the BBI all the young advocates that emerged. It's very inspiring and it's so beautiful that you can be able to have young people who are able to articulate themselves so well so please make sure you check out those two books the next book that i'll talk about is this to kill a mockingbird and it's very pretentious of me to talk about this book because it's one of the books that i have not been able to manage to finish but everyone who i have met says that if you want to be a lawyer you have to read this book i got it a while back it's a bit very slow paced i got it in 2020 in the beginning and this is 2021 in august and i still haven't finished it but it's very rich if you look at the arguments that are advanced in this book if you look at the conflict of the law if you look at what we talk about is it right or is it wrong if you look at the cab rank rule and how we are supposed to represent people regardless of what they've done this book delves into that debate and i know i haven't finished it so i won't talk too much about it please make sure you read it if you love it if you've read it before please comment down below and let me know what your experience was if you haven't get it i should warn you the english is very 1960s so you can if you can you can get lost a bit but you can be like me i shelved it for a while i took it back again i'm currently trying to finish it up and i will let you know what my experience will be possibly in a future video but i do recommend it now that i've given it a bit more time i recommend for you to put it as part of your legal literature the second book is our babe Michelle Obama over here. She is actually a lawyer by profession and the reason why I recommend this as part of your legal literature is because she talks about the conflict of being a lawyer because you will realize from her story one 
she actually um started at corporate law at big law which is basically working at a big law firm making tons of money making so much that she would not have maybe imagined from her background and then one day she wakes up and she's like is this what i want to do is it what i want my life to look like now if you're a lawyer if you're in a legal profession this conflict will come your way one way or another maybe you're thinking i should be making more money maybe you're thinking i should be making more of an impact in my journey as a lawyer and her story is so profound in this legal profession where she one day realizes she wants to do more she wants to go back to the community she wants to help her community and she wants to build it to be something you know that is impactful and i really appreciated that journey that she went through because you can get stuck in the in the paper chasing and i'm saying this being very cognizant of the fact that i'm quite young in the profession so i might not really have gotten to this point where i think i should make a big difference or i should give back but just having it and having her story out there and seeing how she transitioned to being who she is and even building such a successful relationship with her husband who is also a lawyer and maneuvering through it and being able to get there it just shows you that you can date, date a lawyer and don't not burn the house down and you can also do something that is meaningful with this legal degree if you're at that crossroad the next two books that i have are legal fiction and that is runaway jury and rogue lawyer i this one i mean i've said this before if i become a lecturer or oh, unto you if you've been my class because this will be a text that you will have to analyze and to make sure you understand in and out the reason i say that is because i have told you guys so many times that i love this book it's legal fiction a lot of people criticize john grisham because of how he writes legal fiction and he's not even a lawyer but goodness how he builds his characters how he tells their stories how he makes you realize that oh my gosh the law can be a monster and it can be it can be a sword it can be merciless it can be so many things it tells you the skills of advocacy it gives you the dangerous side of the law it gives you the conflict when it comes to family and relationships it gives you the beautiful the beautiful venture the loyalties the relationships that you build the kind of connections that you have with people who you are with in the legal profession i do recommend it 100 percent. it's a very easy read it flows through the font is beautiful you guys know i have a thing about font first of all the font in to kill a mockingbird is horrible i struggled with the font i already wear glasses as you guys may know so the font there is just i don't know let me just show you the font is a bit tiny i don't know can you guys see i hope so the font is already tiny and it doesn't flow as much as much as i would have wanted it to flow but in this i don't know if it's the copy i got but in this copy of rogue lawyer like the spacing is so wonderful like it's so clean you know your your eyes just float through the lines very easily i do recommend it the other one again is a john grisham pick and it's runaway jewelry i know we work in we do not work in an inquisitorial system we're an adversarial system here in kenya but goodness me the art of jury selection is profound how and i love this book because it addresses the biases in the law law is a social science right law is very it's dependent on the people how else do you explain hammurabi laws for example an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth was once legal the burning of people at stake was once legal but the law continually evolves with the people so i love this book because it addresses those biases it tells you that you cannot practice the law in a vacuum because the law is there to facilitate society you have to carry out the law cognizant of the people it is serving and my goodness i could talk about this books and just be passionate i mean i can you guys can see i'm just smiling i'm so happy 
I love books, you already know that, and I think that this six books that I've talked about would be very, very key in helping you in your law school journey. So I will just list them very quickly once more. The first one is Sutton's Advice to Young Lawyers. The second one is Devil's Advocate. The third one is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The fourth one is Michelle Obama's Becoming. The fifth one is Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham. And the sixth one is Runaway Jury again by John Grisham. And, and I hope you guys can be able to get them and read them and enjoy them even as you delve into the legal profession. And that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you aren't. And share all the good news with your friends, with your family, with anyone who loves legal literature. Please share this video. If you have read any of these books, please comment down below on what your experience has been. And as usual, don't forget to be kind to one another and also to yourself. Bye!